come from? <laughs> oh, we're having such a good time in the kitchen. Oh, what are we doing? We, uh, 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 Welcome to Cooking Cheap, I think. <laughs> I think so. I'm going to do not so cheap cheesecake. And I'm doing English muffins because we're having high tea here today. Oh. oh that's well, where's correct. the tea? Oh, well, I forgot to bring it back. <laughs> well, what can you do? Well, you, had we'll have a, you had time to go get it. We'll have a diet drink instead. Oh, well. What are, what are these well, things puffing up I, on the stove here? This recipe is so time-consuming that I'm going to show it to you in reverse. These are the, the muffins. They don't look like muffins to me. Right slick, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. It's that cornmeal on there. <laughs> get over there, you little booger. All right, no, there they are, and those are the real English muffins, and they're made from a yeast dough that we're going to show everybody about, and then they're cooked on a griddle or in your frying pan at home, hmm. and uh, they're just right amazing. And then I've already cooked a couple, and when these are done and they cool off, I'm going to spread them apart and toast them in our cheap oven if it'll get up hot enough to do it, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll have, have it them. On? Oh yes, I yeah. just turned it on. Turned so, on a couple hours yeah. ago, right? <laughs> so it can warm up on the so, broiler there. So it'll be warm when we get ready to do the show. <laughs> okay, well good. I'm going to do a, a cheesecake from scratch. Okay, well, before you do, let me just punch my dough down. Beg your pardon? Well, I mixed this dough oh, up. look at it. It's and, swollen. Yes, it has, and I've got to punch it down now. And if you listen real carefully, you'll hear the gas escape. I think you're adding <laughs> sound effects. Now, you have to punch this down like this. Well, it looks sort of like your face, Johnson. <laughs> no, I think it looks like, uh, well, <laughs> never mind. Well, it's just anyway, real pretty. All right, now, it has to rest for a while, so we'll just put that Why, over there. Why, has it worked a lot? And uh, you go right ahead. Oh, oh, I somehow thought there was more to it than all of that. First thing I've got to do is make a graham cracker crust from scratch, or preferably, from graham crackers, wouldn't you say? Oh, I'm, I'm surprised so. you haven't eaten some of these graham crackers. Johnson usually gets into everything I have. Well, and today I just he didn't has feel like I wanted graham crackers. It takes about four ounces of graham crackers. And to figure that out, you can get out your little cup and it shows you what four ounces is just a little over. Four ounces is about a half a cup, as a matter of fact. I had some left over from last night when I did this recipe the first time, so I have this down to a science. They say, take it and put it in your, in your little... Yeah, <laughs> uh, take it and put it in your blender. <laughs> blender and do it. And uh, I just think that's an awful lot of work, considering that all you have to do is just take a couple of them like this and just crunch them down, just like so. Now, isn't that tough? Now, Josh, Larry, you would have been wonderful out there as one of the pioneers, you know, without electricity, you knew all the things to do. And then you don't have to clean up your blender, you see. That only took a minute, less than a minute to do that. Just make sure you get all the big pieces because you don't want anybody choking on it. There's nothing worse than someone choking on your cheesecake. Now, it also says do the rest of the stuff in the blender. And we're not going to do that either. Gonna take about that much of it. I think I overdid it a little bit, so I'm gonna throw the rest of it away. Oh, unless no, you'd those like perfectly to, good unless you'd like to inhale this. No, here. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the way you normally eat grandma. Now crackers. wait a minute. We're not supposed to be talking drug lingo I'm on not the show. There are children watching. Who in the world's talking drug lingo? Yeah, Why did yeah, you bring yeah, that yeah. up in a family show? Yeah, yeah, I know you, Bly. Drug lingo. <laughs> And a little over a quarter of uh, my margarine. Uh, margarine. My mouth's not working. I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks, and I can't talk or anything. Or anything. Or anything. Oh, yes, and some ground cinnamon, too. Yeah, let's see. Oh, and one tablespoon of sugar and a little bit of ground cinnamon. we got to have about a half, a, is it a half? An eighth. I'm reading this through a uh, glass through thing. The, through the Pyrex. There you go. And then some sugar, a little bit of that. You can't overdo it too much. Two tablespoons of melted butter you and want, one tablespoon sugar? of sugar. Get your lips out of here. Right, put that in there and just a little bit extra. Now, take that and diddle it around here with oh, no. a fork. All right, now this is your base. I beg your pardon. 
This is your base. You know, I don't think there's anything that I have said here for the last five minutes that hasn't had some running commentary. Well, you know, you've been on vacation and we need to get you back. Well, place. I guess you're right. All right, now there you go. Just make that so it's just a little bit, what would you call that? Just a, a mess. little. It's, it's, it's not a mess. It's not a mess at all. It's just a little tacky. And take that and put it on the bottom. I wouldn't touch that one with a fork. <laughs> and put that on the bottom of a nice dish and pat it down real good, a little baking pan of some well, kind. Well, while you're doing the pan. Well, I'm not finished yet. Oh, well, I'm, 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 I'll tell you when you can have it again. <laughs> and just smash it, that's real pretty. Now back to, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, I missed hurry, just quick. a little bit. And now back to Laban. Now, I'm doing, now these are the, the little, they look like little pancakes and they'll raise up on us. And these two are almost done. And look, I have split these muffins and there they are, real and pretty. Now they do look like real muffins. Uh -huh. real, uh, Except, you know, I got in a hurry and they're English not as muffins. round as. Woo. Remember when I made those English muffins out on the road that time? Uh huh. Those were scones. I believe, weren't they? They were English muffins. Out on the road. On yeah, the, but remember out on we went the up to, No, we went up to Lynchburg that time. Oh, yes. I did those English muffins using little, using little rings which we had taken from what? Tuna fish cans. Tuna fish cans. Or Using cat tuna food fish cans. cans or cat fish or cat food cans. Cleaned, of course. Cleaned up. Oh, well, sure. Well, sure. What other what? Well, what do you think we are down here? Well, you don't. Know. Is that the health department? I yes. Hear? Oh, anyway. Was well, that it? Is that all you're going to do? Well, that's all I need to do right now. Well, doggone. I well, didn't do you know. want me to well, I was going to have to carry the show. No, I'll no, do no. the rest of it. Now for the filling. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> I guess he will. For Let's filling, see that. For the filling, we're uh, going to take, this takes an inordinate amount of, of uh, cream cheese. It takes 19 ounces softened. Well, this isn't very soft. You could throw that up beside someone's head. What is that, head. a three? That's two and a half oh. cream cheeses this size. So I'm going to open those up and put them in there. These should have been out all day long. Softening, that's right. And I'll tell you something else. Or you could do it in your microwave. Well, yes, you could. We don't have one here. We can't afford one. And we're oh, scared we had to that, ask for we it had because they might get us one, but then we wouldn't get a raise. Yeah, that's right. What do you want? A microwave or a raise? So anyway, you have got to keep opening those things up. Also, if you're going to make pimento cheese sandwiches, which has nothing to do with this, it's a good idea to leave your cheese lay out all day long because... The softer the cheese is, the smoother your pimento cheese will be. You won't have all those big lumps and gnarly things mm -hmm. in it that you get so often. And I've had some at your house that way. Uh -huh. If you'd have just left it out a few minutes, we'd have been all right. I think this the big bad boy is big enough to handle us, don't you? Yep. Well, let's see. We'll see. I'm going to soften that up a little. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> Stop that right Throw that bit. cheese Hang around. on a second. I've got it. What's wrong? Well, it's uh, getting kind of bound kinda, up in the thing uh, there. Bound up in there, is it? <laughs> Throw right. the spatula All right, hang it. on a second here. 19 ounces of softened cream, a small lemon. This is not a small lemon, but I'm just going to take <laughs> half of it. <laughs> this is an inordinately large lemon, don't you think? Now make sure you don't get any. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Uh-oh. There goes another one. What, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I am sorry, I forgot. Uh, Ms. Lola Murray gave me a, a juicer that yeah. we can use on the air. It's w carved out of wood, and you just wham that thing into the lemon and go, <laughs> and the juice just rolls out of it. I used it yesterday. All right, there we go. Oh, yes, and we'll also something else we need to do is we need to take a little bit of this lemon zest just on the outside and diddle some of that in there, too. Mm -hmm. Now, you can do that with just an old... Devil. What is it? Uh, just one of those old scrapey things. But I got one of these. This is a good recipe, I think. I have the real one in the refrigerator and haven't tried it yet. Ooh, I don't want that. That looks right nasty. And that's just the price on Put it. Put that down in there. It was a good price, too. Three eggs, also. One, two, two three. three, and 
And one for the cook. No. One teaspoon of vanilla wow, extract. Didn't work. How much? Teaspoon. Vanilla extract. Good. Coca Muga. And now. Oh, I forgot my sugar. Thank you. I got to put some sugar in there too. <laughs> Looks right nasty right now, but it'll get better. Oh, I just threw some all over Doris's fine new sweater that she's wearing today. All right, we'll let that soften up a little bit. Meanwhile, I got to put some sugar in there. How much? Half a cup. And that's about it. Now that's going to be the filling part that we put in here on top of the, the graham cracker crust. And, and I'll just play with this a little bit. There goes the sugar. That's the most important part. And get this real smooth. Back to Laban. Well, I've got m some more muffins on here. I want to show you how to split the muffins now. You just take a fork and you go around the edge like this. And put it in all the way. I think this thing's missing a piston. Might be. Sounds sure is funny. noisy though. It does sound right funny, doesn't it? And then when you get all the way around, you just pull it apart, and there it is. And it's all cooked and real pretty. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you, one and all. Now, going back to the beginning of this recipe, it's real easy. You need some yeast, and I'm using a rapid rise yeast, but you can use anything you want. With this, you don't have to proof the recipe. So you put a couple of cups of flour in a bowl, this yeast, a half a teaspoon of salt, uh, a cup and a quarter of hot water with two tablespoons of margarine melted into it. Mix it all up, knead it for 10 minutes. You know, we've done that on the air. You push it and shove it, and then when you finish with that, you put it in a bowl, turn it over to grease it down, and let it rise for 45 minutes to an hour, and this is what you have left. Now, at this point, it's a lot of fun. So we're going to put some flour out here on our uh, board. Flour our hands and get the dough out of the bowl. And we just want to flour it up a little bit here. And now we're going to cut it in half. Now this is a dough blade. You can't, uh, you can't tear it. You got to cut it. So you just use your dough blade like that. You can use a knife. We'll put this one back over here. And we've now got uh, half of the dough, and this recipe makes 12 muffins. So we're going to cut this piece in half, and then each half in thirds, and that'll give us six pieces, so we'll have 12 pieces all together. And we'll just put these over here out of the way. <coughs> Ooh, choked on a piece of flour. They sure do smell good. Yep. <coughs> oh, no. Or is that your cologne? No. It's, I can't tell you what it is. But anyway, uh, you just roll them out, and after they're rolled out like this, you put it <coughs> Pardon me, I have a onto cold. a pan that has got, uh, you spray it with a little cooking oil and sprinkle cornmeal on it, and the cornmeal acts as little ball bearings so that uh, you could, that's true, so that you can get it off. What, what are you making? I'm making the, the little, <laughs> Little ball bearings. Yeah. And if you're real careful when you do this, you'll be able to roll these babies out into an almost round shape. And you need to do all of these. Mm. Yummy. Roll them out. And then you have to let these rise again for a half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour. You got it. Okay. So, so, Lair, I'm going to keep rolling these uh, little honeys out. All right. And I'll give it back to you. Okay, now look at this. Isn't this lovely? Look at that. It's real, real fluffy and very delicious, too. Very, very nice. It really is fluffy. Fluffy. He was a good dog. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put that down there. Did you ever know anybody there. had a dog named Fluffy? I, I thought everybody had a dog I named know. Fluffy. I have known several Fluffies. 
Yeah. We're gonna I've do known some here. cats named Fluffy. Do what? I've known some cats named Fluffy. I've never One known of them played uh, saxophone down at the bar. What's he talking about? <laughs> I swear to goodness. I don't know. Somehow I believe I've been left out on the whole program. Well, you have. You haven't been paying attention. I haven't been paying much attention. Now, what you got to do is just kind of take that and very carefully smoosh it around because you don't want to disturb your your fine fangs. fangs. Like so. Doing a sloppy job of it, but that's all right. Good enough for the likes of this program. Oops. Now, what you got to do, that's real pretty, is you got to put that into the oven at 350 degrees for, twi for 25 minutes until that sets up. 350 degrees, excuse me, for 25 minutes. Leave it on, leave the oven on, because after you get finished with the sour cream mix, which will be the next part of this we're going to make that goes on top of it, then you'll put it back in the oven for 10 more minutes. All right? So don't forget that. This is going to go in the oven now for, oh, for the next 20 minutes or so. <laughs> now, the next thing i got to do is make the sour cream topping. Now, I'm going to go on ahead and do that. As soon as okay. I clean this up, I'll be right back. Johnson. Well, now that we've got our, our little uh, honeys over here, I need to, oh, no, I need some water. Well, let me just get a handful. Thank you so much. <laughs> what you need to do is you need to water the top of these little muffins. You're supposed to use your pastry brush with this, but yeah. I don't have, I didn't bring it with me. But you just water the top of them, and that's easy enough to do just like this. Don't worry if you don't have a high price brush. Use your fingers. That's why God gave them to you. Have we seen as much of that as we need to? No, I've got one of them. Well, I swear I have never been so insulted. And well, incensed. I'm just asking. This first I paid any attention to you. Well, I know. And you're over there putting and you'll water, pay for it. <laughs> putting water on your buns. Well, or whatever they are, I, I don't beg know. your pardon. <laughs> All right, now we have to take some cornmeal. Uh huh. And oh, I thought you're supposed to cast your bread upon the water, not cast your water upon the bread. I don't understand. And sprinkle the Does top make of it these wet to buns. It? No, these, like I said, these act as little ball bearings, little, <laughs> so that when you want to get them on and off your griddle, mm. they'll just come right off and slide around. If you spill any of your cornmeal, you have to throw some over your shoulder and at your best friend in order to make sure. Now, these have to rise for 30 minutes. And at the end of 30 minutes, they will look like they looked a while ago when I was cooking them on the griddle when we started. How ah, about that? Okay. I'm going to very quickly start this and then we'll visit our good friends, the Cook yeah, Sisters. They're here. But what we got to do now, this is the sour cream topping that goes on the cake after it's baked. When it comes out of the oven after 20 minutes, you start with two cups of sour cream, which that is, and a half a cup of sugar. Was that right? Yep, half a cup of sugar. And two, no, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Boink, here we go. Now, I'm just going to mix that up until it's all mixed up. <laughs> Let's uh, visit the Cook Sisters. I believe oh, they're supposed I, to come by for a little right. visit. Come I'll show you what this here, looks ladies. like in a minute here. I think they're going to show us another wonderful instrument of the kitchen. Oh, are they really? The I hope so. Uh -huh. And here they come. It's so nice. Hey, uh, sis. Huh? Remember this. Oh, it's your first husband's uh, shaving kit. It was a little rough. I'll never forget. Left oh, big marks on his face till no. he figured out that wasn't what it was. No, 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 huh? no, no. And he oh. used that uh, singeing iron on his oh, face. I remember. remember he always had terrible. Now this is the bean slicer. You know, doing beans and quantity, you'd stick that old bean in there and cut the end off, and then run it right on down to string it with. I used to just use my fingers before they got kind of arthritic. Well, I know, but this was good for those that wanted to be modern and up to date. Oh. Yeah. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the Cook Sisters. Cook Sisters.
Oh, there's something they are. Now, I've gotten the sour cream mix all done. And what you do now, your cake has been in the oven red hot for 25 minutes, and you just reach in there, whew, ooh, boy, I'm telling you, and take that thing out. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're talking asbestos hands here. All right, now watch this, and then what you do, is that all baked and set up and everything, then you just take your sour cream mix and you pour it over top of it like so, and you put it back in the oven for another 10 or 15 minutes. And then you bring it out and you cool it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's that. And then you're ready to serve it. And that's, that's you mean cheesy. that's all there is that's to it? That's all there is to it. And when you get finished with it, it comes out of the refrigerator with tin foil all over it. Oh. And hopefully it is picture of loveliness, though I can't really tell. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is very, very It is very indeed attractive. a picture of loveliness. In fact, oh. it doesn't look too much different than the other one did, to be honest yeah. with you. Well, while you're uh, cutting big slices for us, why don't we look at the recites? Oh, okay, the recipes. Chole, chole, here we English go. muffins, a package of dry yeast, a tablespoon of water, one and a quarter cups of warm water, three and three quarters, quarters to four cups of unbleached flour divided, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of margarine melted and cooled, a vegetable cooking spray, and two tablespoons of cornmeal divided. And the not so cheap cheesecake, although really the most expensive thing about it of course is all of that cream cheese you get to buy. But you start out with four ounces of graham crackers, two tablespoons of melted butter, a teaspoon of sugar, a little cinnamon. Now that makes your base, your graham cracker crust, the filling a small lemon, 19 ounces of softened cream cheese, a half cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three eggs. Sour cream glaze that goes over the top of it, two uh, cups of sour cream, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half cup of sugar. And that's that. And just bake it all up, and it's just real good, and then you eat it with your mouth. Oh. Well, Which I'm going to do very shortly here. I'm, you going to what? I'm just about ready to take my text, muffins text out Text on the somebody? Oven. Oh, I thought you were going to take your text on somebody. No, well, I thought about it. I'll just fill in a little bit here. <laughs> no, I guess I'll try this stuff, see if I can get it out. Oh, it's real hard. Now, look at those muffins. Confirm. <clears throat> now, you know they're beautiful. Yes, they are. Well, so is this lovely cheesecake, which I have somehow <laughs> ended burned. up on my hand. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I, I, I believe I would have served it. I believe the plate's on the other side of the room, and I'm over here. Thank you, Doris. <laughs> you supposed to serve it that way or the other side I up? I believe the other side up is... I believe. No, oh, it's work. stuck. It's become gelatinous and glued. It is not gelatinous and glued. It's beautiful <laughs> and lovely. Oh, I did the same thing. I swear. Well, look. See, it stays right in, but keeps on ticking. There we go. It's wonderful. Nothing can hurt this cheesecake. Well, I'm going to bring the whole thing over because I want people to admire it while I'm eating. Do the best I can. Well, my favorite meal, English muffins and cheesecake. Mm -mm. Telling you, here, have a great big piece. I oh. guess I could have just left it on there. And here, One less plate. toasted muffin. Boy, now they do really smell like uh, muffins are supposed to smell. They, in fact, they've got the right texture and everything. Johnson, I believe you've hit on something here. And they're very light. They're just as good as store-bought. They really are. They're as good as store-bought, maybe better. Who would have thought it? I believe you ought to go in the English muffin business. Mm -hmm. The Muffin King. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure. Well, are you ever going to try my uh, cheesecake, John? I'm enjoying or? this muffin so much, I don't know. Well, I'm going to try the cheesecake. I've done a lot of work on it, and I expect to eat some of it. First, I've got to get rid of this muffin. I wish we had some milk. Mm-hmm. Or tea. Or tea. That's right, we were supposed to. Mmm. How much time left? Mmm. Mmm. You got to realize that I'm not real partial to cheesecake because you and I probably uh. have eaten and judged more cheesecakes than any two people on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. So to this day, I'm not real hot on them, but this is right good. 
Yeah, Vega. it's very rich. Mm -hmm. sure. Very heavy. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Woo! That could put you away, put you down under the ground. Sure could. Mm. Bye. We well, gotta go. Goodbye. We, oh, we forgot the witch. Bye. What?